What's up, guys? Hope you guys are excited. We have a big news for you guys. If you're a support of Trump, please stay. If you're not, please leave because this might piss you off. We have a big news about the court case about Trump. So I can't wait to check this video out for you guys. So let's get right into it right now. Okay, here we go. Well, yep. <clears throat> here we go. I got sick again. Do you hear this? Can yes, you sir. believe this? Sinuses fall up all night. The beloved Miss Tenaple had me sleep on the couch because I was coughing all night. Oh, sh Anyway, so this is going to be a low rent video. No edits. I'm just going to, I just hit record. And I got an article here, so this may go a little long or, or seem a little odd, but thank you guys for watching. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm yeah. still going to try and knock out some videos today, but there's not going to be a thumbnail. It's going to be from right here. Up it goes. Here we go. This is from The Hill. Which Supreme Court justices threw Trump an immunity lifeline? What's this about? This is about Trump going before Jack Smith once again. And the, the Supreme Court, these are still kind of the liberals over at The Hill, angry about <clears throat> the Supreme Court agreeing to see the case, even though they're not going to be able to see it before the election. Here we go. Well, they might see it before the election. I could be wrong on that. Okay. okay. According to headlines, the Supreme Court has thrown former President Trump a, quote, lifeline, giving him a gift, bolstered his strategy, mm. or handed him a huge win by agreeing to consider whether he is immune from prosecution for interfering mm -hmm. in the 2020 presidential election. Now, the... Im you know, regardless of what you think of the immunity clause of, of how immune the president is, I don't think he has absolute immunity. So it's going to be very hard to hide behind that. The Supreme Court, we've already gone over this, but the Supreme Court has already gone against Trump claiming he had immunity when they were going after his financial records mm, in 2020 true. or 20. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so the Supreme Court isn't like, hey, you get complete immunity all the time. So it, but now the question is, when will they hear this thing? Indeed, the delay. The oral argument in Trump v. United States set for April 22nd. So it will come before the election. Not the, not the, uh, the verdict, but the actual case is going to the Supreme Court. And April 22nd is the last day the Supreme Court meets. So they're taking it at the very end of their term, uh, their session, I'm sorry. And special prosecutor Jack Smith's case suspended in the meantime means that Trump may escape trial before the November election, hmm. but is not quite accurate to say that the Supreme Court as a whole is responsible for providing him with the political advantage he was after. He was not after a political advantage, by the way. He was simply after a free speech right to talk. So this, is, this article is already spinning it that he's after an advantage. Look, he's trying to survive. He's trying to stay out of jail. He's trying to True. keep from being labeled as an insurrectionist. That's, what, that's all he's doing in the courts. In fact, it may be that only a majority of the justices favored hearing the case with the majority voting to let stand the court's uh, denial of immunity. Justice Clarence Thomas, despite having a glaring conflict of interest when they say that, that's them saying that uh, his wife, Ginny, being part of the J6 or, or being sympathetic to the J6 protesters. They call that a glaring conflict of interest, which is stupid, but also, but this is the, uh, you know, probably a lefty or a rhino working uh, for the Hill. Okay. That they might even cast that he might even decide the uh, deciding vote. All this is to say, I, I mostly wanted to emphasize the words they gave, because this is good news for Trump guys. This is a win. We're going to wrap up on this. Okay. Trump got a lifeline. Trump got a gift. Trump was bolstered his, with his strategy and was handed, quote, a huge win, according to this article that is written by Never Trumpers. So take the win, guys. This is good for Trump's timing. Um, he's going, if you believe he's still going to win this, let us know in the comments below. Put a great big, I will only vote for Trump in 2024. I'm Doug in exile. Boop. Okay, let me give you a summary of everything he said. Supreme Court agrees to consider whether Trump is immune from persecution for interfering in the 2020 presidential election. The delay in oral arguments until April 22nd means Trump may escape trial before the November election. Special Prosecutor 
Jack Smith's case in suspension in the meantime. That is a very, very good news. <laughs> very, very good news. Despite a potential conflict of interest with Justice Clarence Thomas, the Supreme Court may have a majority in favor of hearing the case. That is a very, very good news. The article emphasized that Trump perceived win and suggests that this is good news for his timing and strategy, despite potential bias in the reporting. So the good news is Trump is still going to win his election. Is still a candidate. Uh, the delay in the court case is a very, 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 very good thing. It's a very, very good news, and I'm excited about it. In respect of the political games that are playing, because number one, this court case is it's it's it was not necessary. Seizing Trump asset and everything it was actually not necessary. It's it's a political game to slow him down, but we all know Trump is going to travel. It's going to it's going to stand. They find his son, they find his business, but we all know Trump is going to stand at, at the end. We all know Trump is going to win this election. They're trying to slow him down. They're trying to pull down his game because the, his opponents are already saying, Joe Biden, <laughs> and they're already saying, Trump is going to win. He has great potential. The people are voting for him. The people are going to vote for him. The people are in support of him. So they're trying to slow down his game, but we all know he's going to win. So if you are for Trump, for 2024, please give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Comment down below where your vote standing. <laughs> so guys, you know how it is to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay guys safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't know papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales.